In today's video we are featuring two different bags and we are going to be comparing and to see which one is the better one for you to get. The daylight or the add-on? Which one is the best? Let's find out in this video review and testing. In today's video we are checking out two different bags over here, the sling bags. And in one corner we have the Atom one. In another we have the Asprey, the daylight pack, which is, it is different. But in some ways they are very same as well. So normally I would feature and wear my Max Position to place it, but it is big, it is heavy, it is hardcore pack. So I needed something really small that I can just throw all my stuff into and take it everywhere I go. The Asprey pack, the good thing is it's super compact when you put this on and you can actually put everything you want on here as well. It is pretty small, it is nice in size and everything. Let's go ahead and put this on my back. You can see how this kind of looks like. You can see right here. It's pretty good. And you can try it on as well. Just different, different designs. Different designs, the same exact thing here. And now we have the daylight one. <laughs> it opens up. So that's that's actually a minus on my opinion. You don't forget to strap it in and open up. It is much more or less weight. Like really you can see that this thing it is flimsy and everything. Horses. The much bigger and a little bit well made pack. But we have a problem with this pack. Although its size is small and everything, it looks like it might be the best pack. The material just screams a bit cheap to it when I feel like the back and the honeycomb grip here. It's just not my favorite, I don't know if you can see here, but it does feature a honeycomb grip like in here. It might be a thing for you, like you might like it, but some people might super hate it as well. It also has a few interesting things, but it doesn't have it doesn't have a place for you to put your camera in here in the strap, which is something that the Atom does have. So the Atom, you can kind of put this right on you, you can open it up, take your camera or phone, hey I call it the camera but yeah, some people call it the phone, you can just stick it in here and if it is the small SE or the iPhone, the mini, you can definitely just put it in here and you have it right in. So you can use it all the time, you can get it out. And that's good. You can put your keys over here, you can put other stuff as well. This is something that's big with the Atom that is not included in the, in the daylight. This just doesn't have this option, this is why I'm keeping the tags on it, is that I wasn't sure about this. Now, the daylight does feature double zippo. This is a good thing, you have a zipper in the front, you open it up, it has another compartment, like the organizing is superior here, because you can see we got two compartments inside, one of them on one side with a mesh right in here that you can stick things in, you can see exactly what it is, and on the other side you can put other stuff on the, on the other big compartment, so the organization is really superior inside of this one and for 20 bucks worth this is pretty good for, in terms of organization it is a little bit loud more feminine looking i would i would say but in the black you can't really tell if this is feminine or male it looks just just good for all intention and intensive purposes you can probably pack this thing with goodies i wanted to show you side by side comparison of the two so you can just see how they actually look like 
and this material on the back a little bit more comfy and supportive or else this one has the honeycomb grip less comfy or supportive there's definitely a lot more cushion over here than in this one the strap is also just a regular strap there's a place you can put something in here but this one has a place where you can put a phone or some other goodies instead and the material just feels a lot more cheap here well, this one is just a little bit attack better in terms of looks you can see right here uh, far away and everything um, yeah the atom a little bit just better just a bit and on the other hand this one has an issue the, the biggest issue of the atom is the organization you can see that it only opens only so much there's only so much opening here and that's it if you want something like super tight that doesn't open much and nobody can steal stuff from you like you can't just open up and get inside well this one is one of those so it has organization it's not that good because there's just two different compartments here there is nothing in to stick it in and on the side there is one over here as well opening so the uh, the daylight does have a superior organization inside in here and although it's 20 bucks cheaper and it doesn't have that place for you to put your phone it does feature pretty good deal and it opens up this is probably the best part of this thing is how easily it opens up and you can access everything that you want in here some ways it makes me think that this is the, the better pack now once you're doing EDC stuff you want to know what can you fit in here so let's take out some stuff got the knife here we got the drink got some binoculars in here that's pretty much it I just decided to get three different things here just to show you how it goes around so we got the phone well the phone in here got the drink I'm putting the drink in here we got the knife we got the binoculars in here as well so let's say that we're just going for a small pack for a day trip and you need something small the only thing is missing probably my lunch here can this actually do the job yeah it fits all in so yeah I stick that all in here we got the all you need for your EDC hiking purposes right inside the daylight pack and it closes pretty well and that's something you want in a pack you just want to jump close to in here take it like this and go and that's it this is what a pack is all about now can the other one do the same deal can it fit a lot of water binoculars a knife and the phone pretty much all the essentials this is what I'm really getting this pack all for put all my essentials in here so let's go ahead and do the same deal putting the phone in here now the phone could be also put in the side pocket as well but inside to put it inside putting my drink in here you see this this has a different organization putting the knife in here and I'm putting the binoculars in here too see the one thing I don't like about this is that it's just hard though although I like both of them it's just much harder for you to put things in because of the size of the zipper I wish it was it would unzip much more faster and easier for you to put bulky objects in here and that's something that makes it much harder I could say you want to get this whole things out of here you gotta get it from the side you gotta get it in you gotta get it out pain in the ass if you ask me you see like 
it all get it all all goes in. So just the way it's organized, just makes it harder for EDC purposes to get all your your junk you need to get access to. So that really does blow about this bag. I wish it was much better in terms of, of like how you can stick things in and, and so on. But the bag, the construction is much more superior. I like that there is a place for you to stick the phone over here in case you actually need to. I like that it has a location right in the front where you can put things in. And what I don't like, I just don't like the way the zippo is just so much smaller and it doesn't give you as much opportunity to put everything that you need inside here. And if you're looking at side by side both of those bags, also the color coding, all the black version is not really black. It doesn't even look black at all. It looks gray, so that's also a minus when it comes to that. And the daylight pack, the na name is stupid, but who cares about the name? The Atom one, you can see over here. I like the style. I actually dig the Pentagonal one. I think they made a really good decision where you can put stuff right here. Uh, I'm just not, a, I, as much as I want to like this, I'm not a fan of this axis to everything from this side. It seems like you can stick things in here, but to get them out, it's harder, but in some ways it's good because it's not gonna accidentally just all fall out of here. Like with this one, for example, look how much you can open this up. That's actually not a minus, in my opinion, that's a plus. And the organization method is a little bit more superior. This thing feels exceptionally cheap gotta give it to you this is 45 bucks it should go for 20. this is just feels like a piece of crap <laughs> although it's really useful it is junk the daylight version aspirate this this quality of lack of it that is i don't know how long this thing is gonna last that's my honest opinion this thing this one is just more solidly constructed the atom the Pentagonia and it comes with a lifetime warranty anything goes wrong you send it back to the company so that's a good thing let's feature straps on the side you know you can unstrap it you can stick a lot more stuff in here unfortunately again the zippo the zippo restriction I don't know why they did this it's a pain in the ass let's say if you want to put your huge rumble knife in here well not bad you can even stick it in here too you can get fast access is some wild animal attacks you in the woods got the knife right here that you can use you got the phone just in case you need to get the knife and th this is for the small pack by the way this is the smallest one over here and you can see yeah, that you can stick this in you can put the binoculars in here oh you can try to put the binoculars in no you can't <laughs> you can't there was too much space in there and so on but the biggest problem is how much the zippo gives away and so on you can pack those things with a bunch of stuff this feels the atom feels much more solid in my opinion if you're getting those different versions you can get the black one you can get the red one i'm kind of digging i'm digging the work on this i'm digging more of the work i'm digging the material the quality of this i'm not digging just the system you put it in. I mean, if you're if you're fine with the, this organization or lack of it, that is just everything is flowing there and so on. Ah, that's the only downside of this thing. The atom clearly the atom is the winner. It it is the better pick, in my opinion. Uh, regardless of its shortcomings with the Zippo, this one will save you money. It is much cheaper. It is it feels like junk, but it, it will do its job. And it's good. So it, it is like how hard call here. You're saving 20 bucks. 
But if you're qual if you're putting quality stuff in here, keep in mind this thing, those both of them are all just trash. They they are very flimsy. But you get a lot more cushioning and protection. You get a little bit more protection with the atom. This thing feels like in the back you're getting more protection and it feels better when you put this on your back than this one over here, which is gonna really hold. So it comes down to that. It comes down to a few positive and negatives. And it makes it a hard call which one is better. But I think by a little bit of a margin, Pent Pentagonia, Adam wins. It is the much better one for you to pick out of both of those choices. Which is the lesser of two evils in my opinion. But there is very hard to find a pack which is economical, good priced, and you can just throw things in there and you can use it as a sling bag in this price range and specifically for all your needs as well. Mm -hmm.